Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to change the resin that screen in Creel to Halo 1, step by step. So let's start. First thing, I'm going to remove the cover and then I'm going to remove the resin vat. At this point, I suggest wearing the gloves. I'm going to remove the knobs. So in this one, I still have the resin. Therefore, I do suggest you guys as well to get the station prepared for dripping this resin inside the vat. So for that, let's look at my station. This is my dripping station where I have the V-shaped holder and this is the entire body. I'm going to open up my resin bottle, put it in here, in, right in here. And I will put my uh, 3D printed 3D printed housing on it. And then I will also put this filter, align it. Now I will just remove the vat from the printer, bring it in. And this is the vat holder. I'm just going to put pour this one into the filter and locate this on top of my holder. So I will let this one go. Let's zoom in. I will let this one go for 10 minutes ish to get rid of all the resin dripped into the resin holder. And from there we will continue on. Also, when you remove, you will see the screen and the printer. If there is any residue in there, clean it with the IPA and wipe it with the microfiber or eyeglasses uh, cleaner. So this is my IPA, I poured it. This is my eyeglass cleaner microfiber thing. The wet screen is almost empty, so I'm just going to come here and put some paper towels for removal related stuff and then I will take this and put it on top of my paper paper towels filter is going to the trash because we don't have any use for it I'm going to clean the funnel with the IPA and now I'm closing the all the resin that I used. Yep, our job is done with the holder. Let's continue on. Okay, so we have the vat in here, right? I'm going to get my towel paper again and wipe inside. Since we are going to get it from the screen, I'm not going to think about damaging it anymore because it's already damaged. I'm just going to wipe it first. Next, I'm going to use some IPA to clean the corners of the vat tank. I want to remove the old resin that I left over it. So I'm, the main goal in here is to clean the walls of the vat, not the screen. But since we are doing the IPA wash, we can clean the screen as well. I do suggest using gloves while during these operations. So if you guys see me using gloves, make sure that you're also using gloves at those steps too, because it's important and you don't want to leave your finger residue on anywhere, or you don't want to get resin to your hands, which is harmful for your skin. It's going to hard to put this one like this. So it is better if we remove the, these knobs. So continue turning them by while pulling them assuming they will come off yep they exactly come off so the thing is like this right there's this empty section and then the screwed threaded section so you need to pull it towards you like you need to pull it towards you and then start turning while continuing to pull so that they come off. Nicely done. Okay, 
these two are done, I'm gonna put them away. So, if there's any resin residue left at the sections or where they connect, clean them as well. But now, my thing is almost done. Now I'm going to get my Allen wrench set and use uh, 2.5. No. Use number 3 from the metric set. Yes, and from here we are going to remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 screws. Okay, I'm going to use the short end and turn it. I'm going to fast forward this section so that you guys can see it much faster but simply I'm going around the circumference of this vat and removing 14 screws do not lose them because we will need to use them again okay now I remove all the fasteners so we should be able to pull this uh, metal sheet out which is when you put your Allen wrench from the side from these holes just pull it up and we will have this steel frame out or aluminum frame out you might see some uh, you might see some residue around it that's like a resin residue clean that one as well mine feel a little bit bended so make sure to not bend it. I'm just going to pour some IPA on one of my um, towel paper pieces and take the resin leftovers away from this aluminum frame. Okay, now this one is clean too. And then remove your vat. So this is my vat. You might ask what was the damage? I don't know if you can see this, but this part was damaged on my case. Let's try to zoom in. So this part, you can see that this one got up. This portion, it was causing wrinkles on the print. See, it's like movable like a pupil and yes we removed it there was damage it was time for me to move to the next screen next vat screen okay let's move on to the next step which is i believe very very important oh before i move also clean this portion as well there are some resins in here get stuck between the vat screen and the frame so make sure you remove all the resin from your frame and uh, walls of the vat tank so that we don't have any problems while putting the new screen on here. Also dry the IPA out before moving to the next step, which I'm going to show now. So we get this transparent film uh, from Creality. actually this comes with the, this comes with the printer too from inside of it um, simply get the screen so this screen has two sides and both sides has uh, protectors so before we move on I'm going to remove protector from one side and actually I'm going to remove the protector from the other side too after the removal, I'm going to lay it down, balanced on top of my 3D printer tank. After it is stabilized in there, I'm just going to put my sheet on it, like this. And we are going to push it down, okay? While we are pushing it down, like this, stabilize it. Because what we are going to do, get a pair of tweezers or X-Acto knife to poke holes to the 
screw locations so that I can put the fasteners in. Again, don't forget there are 14 of them that you need to poke a hole to. After you complete poking the holes, get your screws and put at least one in there. But don't put it all the way in. We just want to stabilize the holes at this point. Second one in. Third one in. And I would like to do this balance space. So I put three over there and I would like to put three to this corner as well. Now sheet is more stabilized so I can move around easier. Now I'm going to stabilize all the fasteners, but I again, I'm not putting them all the way in yet. We will do that later. Okay, now I'm at the last fastener. I'm going to go all the way in. And I'm going to do this for all the fasteners. Okay, now our resin vat screen replaced. One last thing left, which is the cut the excess material around it. Let's do that. Now I got my exacto knife. So what I'm going to do is to go around it and cut it. Also make sure that you open the hole in this section still because our um, vat stabilizer screws are gonna go from there. Otherwise it will be a little bit painful to put them in. Again, for this section, I'm going to open a poke hole. Okay, this is the end of the vat replacement. I cut the excess materials, as you guys can see, and our vat is completed, replaced. Now we are going to put this one back on to the our uh, printer. Before we do that, we will put these um, vat stabilizer screws. Screw them in until the shaft portion kicks in. This portion is done. Now I'm going to do the next thing. Then push it in. As you guys can see, the screws are out. Now I'm going to put this one into my Creality Payload One. Okay, here is my printer. Now I'm going to put it towards the back and assemble it. And I'm going to fasten these two. I think a couple things to mention in here that are really important is do this in a dust-free environment because that that screen gets the dust like magnetized right there's static electric in it and it just like pulls it pulls the hair around it and the dust around it so you will be unhappy if that happens so i'm just going to fill my resin in there and start my next print thank you guys for watching this is the end of my video i hope you guys liked it if so don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and feel free to share this video with your friends who needs help also guys, I'm putting the links down below that you might need, uh, the screen for the resin vat, the funnel that I used, that I 3D printed, and the vat holder to make it drip. Uh, I'm putting those down there, uh, feel free to check them out as well.
So thank you guys. Um, see you in the next video.